Sometimes it's six, must play as long as it's seven. No life is fun and I'm a dice. Ya kuniku ya dindigandingu ina eh. Di rama di ya posandingu rama post. To my mean, to my mean, to my mean. I to my mean. You 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 win some, you lose some. Lose some. Ya bona se pusha. Ya bona se susa. Swagala is pity pity. Uvaya no tibiriti. Uvaya no tibiriti. There is no more room or space for comparisons anymore. The first thing I felt when I heard that we were going into lockdown was instant shock, disbelief. The first thing I felt when I heard that we were going into lockdown was panic, absolute panic. The first thing I felt when I heard that we are going into lockdown was, we are at war. That's the first war I'm experiencing. When I started this year, my greatest dream was to definitely finish fashion school. Um, So taking that on while working really, really seemed like a dream. So (laughs) definitely finishing fashion school. When I started this year, My greatest dream was to grow myself outside of just being a stylist, but also explore more creative avenues. When I started this year, my greatest dream was to start a family. The hardest part was not being allowed or able to see people I love. The word that encapsulates 2020 for me has got to be resilience. The first thing I felt when I heard we were going into lockdown was my financial anxiety as a young creator taking care of her family and not just herself. The hardest part was reconciling with the fact that I wasn't going to be able to see people for a very long time. And I, I 
excited. Like I'm exhilarated. I feel like a kid again. I really feel like this is giving me an opportunity to really heal from so much. I've learned this year was that no matter how fast the world is spinning around you outside, you will always have the possibility to create your own safe space and to surround yourself with the people that you love. Learning to enjoy like the very small things that before I might have taken for granted. I hope we never forget to love and care for each other. I hope we never forget the lives that were lost during this period. Like, and my condolences to anyone who has lost, you know, like a loved one or anyone who meant something to them through this period. Like, my one wish is for those people to continue to always be remembered. I hope we never forget um, the importance of balance. Balance on all things, both both independently and collectively. Because um, I think the more individuals are able to practice balance, the more balance we'll see um, of our external structures in the world. You know, balance of wealth and resources, balance of access. Bal- you know, working towards the equity that is so necessary for our society to get to a place of thriving. Back to the place where my life is filled with more joyous and infectious laughter. Back to the place where I embrace the inner child, my inner child. Back to the place where I get excited about the things I'm passionate about. Back to the place where I received and reject fear. Back to Channel Orange. Learning how to skateboard at 26, which is kind of bold, potentially stupid. Um, that has was incredible. The word that encapsulates 2020 for me has got to be courage. Now that I'm here, I'm feeling like I can hold myself tighter. I mean, I, I very much have spent my life living like a survivalist, but now I truly want to live a life um, where I'm thriving and I'm, and I'm really living and being the gift um, that I'm meant to be and that is meant for me. Witnessing everyone else doing the same because I feel like that is what life is about. It's, we are given this this very short experience to live, and that's what I'm excited for. Going forward, I am so ready to change the landscape of South African fashion media. Going forward, 